Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I've got a really easy project for you today. I've made this one from one double book page. Let me just move that. And yeah, that's it. One double book page and a teeny tiny bit of glue. No other tools required. So I've got my art glitter and my barely art. So I'll use one or other. Ordinary PVA will do anything you've got. Right, so this is what I've come up with. It's a little... You could use it for happy mail, you could tuck it in a journal, you could, yeah, you could use it as a little standalone project. Depends what you want it for, use it as a birthday card, put a gift card in it, whatever. I've just put that on it to keep it a little bit flatter, but it stays pretty well closed on its own anyway. So let's have a quick look at it. So it's got six pockets inside and a little tuck spot. So I've put some pre-made ephemera in it. I'll link to any videos for the ephemera shown. A cute little tag there. Another tag there. I've just made that with some bits and bobs I had hanging about on my desk. Put a little quote on it. There you go, a little tag. Another tag there. These top two that go in the yeah cover, shall we say. I've not put any thumb notches or anything in because you don't need to. You can get them in and out pretty easily they're just made from a collage masterboard that I had when I make them I just pop them in a folder so I've got an easy tag whenever I need one uh, I've just decorated it up with a little butterfly sticker a flower sticker there's a little butterfly fussy cut popped in there a couple of labels a couple of labels on the front that's it the book page I think is pretty enough so that you don't have to do too much decoration Everything is the correct way up on the big inside pockets and on the outside, if that's something that bothers you. The only place it's upside down is just on the edges of these pockets and this part. Now, I could put a big label over to cover that, but honestly, that doesn't bother me. You could put a piece of paper on it, whatever. But that's, that's something that's, yeah, you do if you prefer. I'm quite happy with mine as it is. Right, so I'll pop that one back in there. I'm not going to make you watch me put all them back in pockets. I'll just clip them together. Right, I'm going to show you a prototype here so you know how I came up with it. Right, so that's exactly the same. I've not glued this yet, so it will unfold. That unfolds back to its book page. So if I turn it over, you will see that that is my front cover and that is my inside front pocket. So I've grabbed a couple of book pages here. These are from the Concise British Flora. The book page you use, the size doesn't matter. But what I like to do is I like to know when I look at my book page, sometimes, sometimes I don't bother. On this project, I want to know what's going to be on the front. See how much decoration I have to do. So if I open this book page out, this is my prototype. I... No, I will get that on the front, so I'll see a little bit of that flower and that. Well, that's quite nice. I'll get that on the inside. That's good. I could also turn my book page like that, and then I would have that on the front and that on the inside front cover. Same again with that one. I've got two choices. Yeah, if you're just using a book page you're going to decorate, say all text, it doesn't really matter, does it? So I think what I'll do is I'll use this one. I want to have this lovely pink on the front cover, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this is folded and how it's glued. So, if anyone's interested, I will tell you it's the rough size of this book page. It is seven and a half, nearly, by ten. But as long as you have got some sort of rectangle, or even a square would work, you just end up with a slightly different shape when you're done. It will work, it will work, don't, don't worry about it. Right, so first thing is I'm going to fold this in half. Yeah, when I fold in half, I like to line my corner up, then go over and line my other corner up. Because these are book pages, don't worry if it doesn't line up perfectly. You can always trim some off top to make it look nice. You can always do a little bit of trimming and altering. Right, sorry if I went out of shot doing that. Yeah, that's lining up well enough for my liking. And now I'm going to fold. Having a scoreboard really wouldn't help you here because I don't know what measurement to score it on. I just don't. 
A bone folder may help you, but you don't need one. I just used to use my nail like that before I had a bone folder. But if you want your nails to last longer. Yeah, there you go. So I lied. I've used my bone folder. I'm not going to go pulling any more fancy tools out. Right, so. Then decide that's going to be my front. So I'll keep it this way up for now. But I'm going to fold it. I'm going to turn it like that. So that's me inside. Now I'm going to bring that into here. And I want it. It doesn't want to go over that crease. You can bring it as far as you want. Again, if I show this. That's just short at crease. If I show, I've lost that other one I had, not it's gone. Yeah, I made one here out of digital paper. That's right up to crease. Don't really matter. I'm going to take this one and bring it, it's, I'd say that's about a quarter of an inch away from crease. I want my bottom lined up. As long as my bottom's lined up, if top doesn't line up properly, I can trim it. And crease I want to do the same with that one I'm going to fold that over and then I'm gonna can you see I'm just using the edge of that page to bring that over then I know they're going to be the same so it's going to be a little book I mean if you don't want if you don't want the book to be exactly the same yeah there's only you can do lots of other things different to what I'm doing I think that's the general gist of it isn't it this is how I've done it now I'm going to get my bowl folder again, and if you look there, that it's not perfect, but that don't matter. That don't matter. Right now, I'm going to fold that down just short of the edge, just short, and I'm going to crease it. I'm going to do the other one exactly the same, and I judge that it's the same by looking. If those two are level, yeah, they're lovely. Sorry if I'm doing a lot of turning, but I'm doing a lot. Of, I've got a little rip there. That rip will probably already there on the book page, but not an issue. I can pop a little bit of washi tape on that if it bothers me. We'll see what it looks like when we've got this page finished. Right, so that's those two. Then I'm going to bring this one down. I've seen projects where people have done this before, you know, making the pockets like this. I've not seen one done as a booklet, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been done. I'm never so arrogant as to think that I'm the first person to have ever done something. Well, I, well, I don't know if it's arrogance, whatever. And then I'm going to again just judge but again as you, you do this as faffy as you want to be as faffy as you want to be if you're not bothered how perfect it is just go and fold it don't matter if it's straight now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold that back because i like that nice clean edge and it's we've got double thickness there then i'm going to fold that one back being careful of this tear that might have just already been there in book page but yeah i can put a bit of wash tape on that and fix it not to bother in fact, I think it's fine. Now here, on my book page, if I wanted to, I could leave that like that and give myself another little tuck at the top. You could cut that off if you don't want a double book page thickness on the edge. You could cut it off and just leave a little bit to tuck over. I'm just, I just want to make this easy today, so I'm just folding mine in. There you go. So we've basically got it there, haven't we? that's it it's done yeah now i'm just gonna get my glue i'm using my barely arts you could use glue stick here whatever you want and i'm going to glue them flaps down just so they don't interfere with stuff that goes in pocket this barely arts is really good at not wrinkling and i'm using it up because <laughs> i prefer art glitter oh, da, 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 da. for some things i prefer it i'm gonna show it waffling about glue if you want to know about glue, I'll tell you about glue. Ask me questions. I'm quite happy to waffle about glue. Right, so that's that stuck down. Going to do the same over here. Wee, wee, wee. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's a new one. Wee, wee, blah, blah, blah. 
wee wee flub -dub. So that's the new one when you're gluing. Yeah, can you imagine me doing an exercise video? <laughs> It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Oh, don't even go there. And wee wee flub -dub. Right, now I also want to glue these other two flaps. Now this was a page that were a bit ripped, but I'm going to fix it here now with my glue. I'm just going to make sure I get enough glue on that corner. There you go, to make sure it's fully down. I ain't going to rip any further then. Wee, wee, flub -dub. Wee, wee. <laughs> Does anyone in the UK, I don't know if you had it in other countries, remember Bill and Ben, the flower pot men? Weed. <laughs> Weed. And then, I don't even, did they said flub -dub, didn't they? Did they? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up on YouTube when I've done. Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. And yes, there were little men in flower pots. And then there were one who was weed. And he used to go weed. <laughs> so maybe that's where I've got my flubber bit of wee from. Yeah. Oh, I hope BBC or whoever don't come after me. Eee, no, you'll not earn out from me, mate. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think this sun's gone to my head. I want to do a nice colourful project because it was nice and sunny. So I got my flowery book pages out and now I've just gone a bit giddy, it would appear. Right, I hope you followed that. And there we go, it's done. That's it. Just one more bit of gluing to do along bottom. But I would suggest if you want to ink edges, do them before you glue your bottoms. Yeah, ink your edges before you glue your bottoms. That is, that's a, yeah. That's a life lesson there, isn't it? Right, I've lost my ink. I did not tidy up much. This is how my tidying up went to start this video. It went, let's make a space in the middle. I really didn't see the point of putting everything away that we're going to be using. Yeah. All right, just a little bit of ink. I'm not going mad with ink. It's too summery to have too much ink. I don't know how ink more in winter me. I just do. I mean, I could use a coloured ink, but I don't want to. I don't know why. I just I like the fact that it's the brownie ink that makes it look aged, like the age look you get on books. I'll put a little bit down here. Now, at any point, if you've got a book page that is not as strong, you can strengthen your spine, strengthen your edges. Yeah, you can come in and do all sorts. I'm just doing what's needed for my book page. And I have ink just this one. I'm not going to ink others. I'm going to show you a few others with different size book pages in a minute. Right. Oh, there we go. Now, if you had a really thick book page, really thick, you might have a bit of trouble <laughs> with these edges. But you could also, you could cut part way down there and bring another pocket down. But I like this double thickness of book page here for some stability. Right, I'm going to come in now and I'm just going to put a line of ink along that flap. Oui. No, it's not ink, is it, woman? It's glue. Yeah, if, if you want to try gluing it with ink, feel free. I've got a feeling it ain't going to work. So it really is a case of... <laughs> <laughs> it can't do as I say, can you? Because I've said wrong. Do as I do, not do as I say. Yeah. I used to hate it when my mum said that when she was little. When I was little. It's do as I say, not do as I do. Yeah. That's because some things are suitable for adults to do, but not children, isn't it? Yeah. I've probably had some really snarky things to say about that in my teenage years. Oh, I'm learning about that at a minute. Yes, teenagers can be snarky. And I've got double snarkiness. Right, I really like the front of that. So I'm going to decorate the front of this with you. Is that the only bit I didn't finish inking? Because, yeah, you could go to town and put all sorts on that, but I tend to just want to put a few little bits and bobs on me when something's so pretty. I've got some labels out. That's that latest Tracy Fox set that I fell in love with, and I'm sticking on everything. And then I've got my... Love your baby wipes, woman. Got my little folder with lots of bits in. I think I might want to put something there and something up here on this one. So I'm just flicking through, seeing what I've got. Hmm. Do you know, I quite like that number, but I might change my mind. What does that say? Identified specimen. 
I am an identified specimen. I like that. I don't want anything that is going to be too in your face. In your face. Like, if I put that bright white one on, you just want to look straight at that, don't you, instead of me flowers. I like that one. It's there, but it's not stealing the show. Because they're not that vibrant, those flowers. Not as vibrant as the flowers on my first one, are they? Yeah, so I, I don't want my label stealing the show. And I've got this thing about layering labels at the minute, as you do. Not that one, though. Don't like that one. Fat one and a skinny one. Labelled, uh, layered up. What have we got here? Oh, that's a Tim Holtz one that's got in somehow. Oh, could quite could put that up there. Or maybe a brown one up there. Or maybe none up there, actually. I just want one to layer here. Do you know, I thought it was a really good idea putting these in these pockets so I could see them, but I really don't like having to put them all back in when I've been looking through them. So that might change. If anyone has found the ultimate final way to store labels, let me know, because I haven't. I'm not sure I ever will. It's also got to be fit for a lazy person. Oh. I wouldn't say I'm lazy, but I'm just like, oh, do I really have to do that? Do I really? Then on the other hand, sometimes I just love organising things. Very strange. I want the things I use on a daily basis to be at hand and the things I use rarely to be super, super organised. I'm a contradiction. Wee. Ooh. Little update on my kitty cat Nala. She's fine, she's well, everything's fine. But if anyone knows, I got her last year as a rescue. We've had her just over 11 months, we've had her nearly a year now. And last night, for the first time, if you're a cat person, you'll realise the significance of this. She made biscuits. <laughs> right, right, made biscuits. That is an expression that I'd never heard of in the UK. I've got it from watching Jackson Galaxy, the cat man. And it's when the cat does that. We always called it treadling or kneading. Yeah, she just go and said he did that and laid down. First time she's done it. So that's a sign that she's getting more comfortable with us, isn't it? Right, I've got them numbers. Ooh, I might want them numbers there. Yes, I do. I want those there. And I'm going to stick a butterfly on it as well. So yeah, I'm only faffing decorating one. Then I'll just show you some different options. Whee. So you will get to see me do the folding again in a minute. But yeah, Nala now makes biscuits. She's so cute. We will make a lap cut out of her if it kills us. <laughs> when we got her, they said she was not a lap cut. Well, yeah, we'll see about that then. She still gets giddy sometimes and doesn't know her own strength. I think she sometimes, I don't know, she's like... Can cats have ADHD? Because if they can, Nala's got it. <laughs> when she's all excited, she'll just go a little bit too far and scratch a little bit too much or bite a little bit too hard. But she looks so sorry for herself afterwards. It's like she knows exactly what she's done. Poor little thing. Right, that's there. I've got some stickers here. Stickers. These are from Etsy. These are... This is like, why make a sticker when you can buy them? Why, <laughs> why bark yourself when someone will bark for you? Butterflies, here we go. These are from a shop called The Girl and the Hound, and I will link it. She does quite a few little stickers. And, yeah, they save me time. They do. Oh, is there a little one in there? Oh, that's so cute. Right. I think I've opened a really bright pack here. Yeah, I wanted a more pastel pack. I've got another pastel pack. Ooh, that one's nice. Ooh, I think he matches too much on that side, but on that side, he's going to be perfect. What we got? Yeah, I need the pack with the... I've got so many of these packs of stickers from her. Thank you so much, Pam. P 
Pamela, no, Pamela, not Pam, who uh, has bought most of these for me. Ooh, pansies. We could put a little pansy on. They're not pansies. It tells you what they are, whatever that is. No, I don't like those colours for this one. I need to put these in some kind of book. But it's just come in such cute little packaging that I want to keep it in the packaging. So that makes sense. Ooh. Also, I got some wax seals from her. And I've just spied one. These have got dried flowers on. Oh, I like that. And they are super thin. Thinner than I've managed to make wax seals ever. Could we have that there on front, do we reckon? Oh, that would have been so nice on front. It still could be. Oh, I think it might be. I might end up putting that on front. I don't know. I'm now into major faffage mode. I should have got my butterflies ready. But did I? Did I? Heck? Here we go. Here's my ones with my lighter butterflies that I've got left. I think I'd used all the light ones out of that pack. Yeah. Oh, I've got a white one there. I just like the fact that the butterfly's not too overpowering. Yeah. It was the same pack. I'd just used all pale ones. Yeah, I'm going to go and look if she does a pack of pastel butterflies just... These will be perfect for my autumnal projects, but at the moment I want pastels. Pastels. Oh, come here. Oh, and a green. Oh, that's a yummy green one. That's a yummy light one. Right, I'll put your back in packet later. For now, I'm going to put you in my plastic wallet that you came in. And that's just more stuff all over my desk. Right. Oh, I like that one over there. Is that the one I used on that? Oh, my word. I must really like that butterfly on this book page. Because I picked the same butterfly again. So, on principle, I need a different one. Ooh, I'm going to put him down there. Yeah, I like him on the numbers. I'm just going to ink his edges a little bit. Then spend 36 years getting back in off sticker. I'm using my nail. I've got a bit of a nail at the minute. I don't want to get any sharp objects out because I put the fear of God into some people. <laughs> Messing with craft knives and pin. I stabbed myself, I think, on my last video with a pin. Could have been worse. There we go. He just disappears into that green, but you do see him. But he's not overpowering. You still see. Oh, I like that one. You still see the flowers on the page. The book pages are the stars of this show. Just inking little white edges to get rid of them. That's going to go there. And I'm going to use that one that says Field Notebook, I think. And then I can tuck something in there as well. But yeah, I'll just ink the edge. There we go. Just to get rid of any white. Because I'm going to make this into a teeny tiny tuck spot. Like I said, the decorating of it is personal to you. You decorate it how you want. I just fancied messing with Sorry, a few botanical I'm not things. Sure. Oh, here she is. Not heard you for a while, Gert. She knows nothing. I am. If you could name your um, yeah, AMAs and them devices, anything you want, I would call mine John Snow. Because then I could say, you know nothing, John Snow. But it's you know nothing, Gertrude. And I'm just going to pop that there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That is done. Done, done, done. And I will get all the bits that I'd put in my first one and pop them in here just to show you how well they will go. This is why I didn't put any little <laughs> semicircles in. They're not needed. That. I'll put that there that time. You can go there, you can go there, you there, and you there. And I just want to put, I'm going to put a ticket in there this time. No, I don't want that one in. You could put the wax seal in so it could then be put on somewhere else. Yeah, I'm going to put the wax seal in so it can be taken off and used. That's lovely. 
and if I fasten that one with a little clip again yeah that's cute I'll do some more book pages uh, tags to fit in that one but that's it fill it with as much or as little as you want I think that would be a perfect happy mail even a birthday card right I'm just gonna scoot some of this stuff out of the way I'm not pausing I am not risking turning my camera off today I did it on my last video if you were watching and totally missed the sewing in of the signature and I did it perfect and then it only dawned on me when I was doing comments yesterday I could have just unthreaded the signature and done it again on camera how silly am I I'm like oh, I've done it now that's not something you can redo but I could have I could have redone it but I did link to another video where I'd sewn a signature in so yeah sometimes I get tunnel vision me and I don't think outside the box in fact I don't think outside my own little six inch square right so I'm just going to show you a couple more now I'm just going to do the folding none of anything else to show you how it will work with some different book pages I've got book pages everywhere now so what we got right I got one of these this is from a different book I forgot what it's called but these book pages are long so this is going to make a very different shaped project but it is going to work so I'll just decide which one to use uh, I think I'm going to use that one then we'll end up with that on the front yes use that one then I'll do it with a much smaller book page I did get one out I did get one out here we go <laughs> yeah I got some of these botanical ones out do we want another purple one for the front or do we want some pink I tend to be going for purple today don't I did I pick that page because it has two colours? Yes, we've got pinks there, yellows there, but they're going to be inside yellows. I think I'm going to use... Oh, it's hard, it's a big decision. Oh, got butterflies and moths, could use them. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to do one with a mothy butterfly on the front. And that's the one I want to use. There we go. So I'll show you two. I mean, if you've got fingers that are much more nimble than mine, you could use a teeny tiny book page. It would work. Maybe get a small child to do it for you. Right, I'll do I'll do this smaller one first, then I'll do the long book pages. So here we go. That's going to be on my top front left. So, hmm, I just had another idea. I want those three on the front, all of them. So do you know what? I'm going to fold that one up. Not quite. No, it will not work. I don't know if it will work. I'll try it off camera. I'm just thinking now. Stop thinking about making new folded projects and con concentrate on making the one you're showing people. Right, this book page is a little bit wonky and out of sorts but it'll work it'll work that's there we go i mean they're old some of these books this paper's been forced into the shape it's in for a lot of years me forcing it into a different shape it may not be too happy with so we folded it in half lengthways now we turn it so it's this way around and I'm going to fold that in oh yeah I'm going to get what I wanted it's nice when a plan comes together no I'm not an ex-member of the A-team but I did used to watch it using my bone fold on this one now we've established it and do it we nail but a bone fold is much kinder to your fingers oh, I'll just check that they are the same length yeah That's that. So I'm going to go a bit quicker with this one. Try not to rip page. It didn't. That was the first time I'd had one rip, actually. I think that page must have been weak. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Eee. That's that. Eee. 
and then that we've just got a yeah a moth's tail sticking up this might be a time when i may decide to put a piece of paper over that it looks like a shell upside down doesn't it we've got the caterpillar he's going to get covered up i'm telling you i love the moths and butterflies not too keen on the caterpillars oh we've got one more fold to do so that's that pocket like I said, if you've made these pockets like this before, it's not a big stretch to make the booklet. Whee. So there we go. That one's maybe not as perfect as my other, but I can live with that. Squish everything down now. And there we have it. I quite like how that came out up front. That's going to get covered up that. He's okay. That's okay. Ugh. So that's that one. I'm not going to put you through the inking and decorating. And I'm going to do one more with this. So this one will be very interesting. Woohoo, look at the length of that. Mm, quick measure. Uh, oh, that book page is ten and a half inches wide. So it's like 21 inches that. Well, I've got a bit of string from the bind in there. Right, well, I want that as the front. So I want to fold that way, don't I? Yeah. So I'm going to have to do this upside down so I can see the edge. I'm knocking stuff everywhere. I've got a 21, piece, 21 inch piece of paper on my desk. It's never not used to it. My desk isn't big enough for that. So get the edges. I'm just going to put a provisional crease in there to make it behave. I think that's like a provisional driving license. Not sure. You'll not know what I'm on about if you're not in the UK. I don't think you have those in America, do you? Do you get a learner's permit? I think that's what you call it. We have what's called provisional driving license. Right, I'm happy with that now. I'll give that a little crease. I've even picked a different bone folder up now. Pick my old plastic one up. I like this one. Yeah, I just picked a label up. I'm holding it. Don't know why. So that's the front. So turn it this way now. Oh, you could go to town on this now. You could fold it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just going to do what we're supposed to do. But you could fold that that way, pull that, have pockets there. Pocket, you could just put so many pockets in this. But I'm just happy with my little landscape six pocket folio. Hmm. Yeah, let's fold the other side up first before we start making pockets. There we go. So versatile. Oh, that's so pretty. That's the front. I like that. That's my inside front pocket. So this time, because it is more landscape, these pockets are going to look a little bit different. So I'm going to leave it not quite down to the edge. I'm going to leave a little bit of space like so mm. you could glue that down and leave it as a side tuck i just like it like that me i do i like that look horses for courses isn't it we all have our preferences and i think i want that pocket to be a little bit bigger on this big landscape one. Oh, i like that How fortunate was that upside down flower? It's upside down the book page, but now it looks the correct way up. That looks pretty. Right, I will try and get this side even. Oh, I'm not trying too hard. Straightish, evenish, just about right seems to be my buzzwords lately. I've stopped being such a perfectionist. I'm, I wouldn't. I'm not being slapdash. 
but I'm not being perfect for the sake of being perfect or trying to be perfect. I've never achieved perfection. So it's a fruitless task. Right. Fold that in. Oh, I think this one's my favourite. I should have tried this before I made the video. This one could have been my prototype. I like it best. How fabulous is that? I don't usually call my own work fabulous. I think we're a bit more reserved as Brits, aren't we? We really are. Right. It's a bit more, can you see? But that doesn't bother me because... I grab something. Once I've put a tag in there, that little bit of bagginess that you have when it's fully closed won't be an issue. Wow, I like it. So, oh, that is so good. I'm going to finish that one. I'll do the inking and gluing. And I'll just bung in more of these ready-made tags that I've got. I just love the look of that, don't you? With them sticking up. That's brilliant. Yeah, like it better than my original. So there's my original. That's the one I've made with your start to finish. And that's, yeah, that's the best one so far, in my opinion. And then we've got the one we did with the moths. I might leave him off thumbnail picture. Looks so much prettier with them three, doesn't it? Yeah. So you won't have seen that when you clicked on the video. Perhaps you won't have introduced it. You were like, oh, moths now. So I do apologise to anyone who thought it was just flowers and I threw some moths in mix. Anyway, I will now stop rambling. Yeah, this sunshine's just put me in ramble mode, I think. And I will go and tidy up my desk and get this video up for you lovely people. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.